Hi everyone, and welcome to our third Tutorial Tuesday. For this one, we're going to cover something a little more drastic, a factory reset on Android. Before I go any further, let me just say that a factory reset should be done with caution. Make sure you've saved everything on your phone that you care about before you do this, since this process is irreversible. The purpose of a factory reset is to bring your phone back to its original state, just as it was when you first bought it. This can be useful when the phone is experiencing problems that you cannot solve, and you need a more thorough approach. I would, however, recommend visiting us on our live chat at newmobile.com before trying this. We might be able to help you without resorting to a factory reset. With that said, let's move forward. First, go to your app drawer and choose Settings. Scroll down the list and tap System. Inside here, tap Advanced to reveal Reset Options, and then tap this to go in. Inside of Reset Options, we see a list of three options, and looking more closely, the Factory Reset is the third one on the list. But there are two lighter options before that, which are worth some consideration too. The first is a reset of the radios in the phone, Wi-Fi, cellular, and Bluetooth. If you're having problems with connectivity, this option might be worth trying before a factory reset. All information relating to these network connections will go back to when you first bought the phone, but your apps will remain untouched. If you think you've mucked up a setting in your cellular setup, this would probably fix that. Next is a reset of app preferences, and this also leaves your app installations in place, but resets all of the preferences for them, such as apps that were disabled, or notifications that were disabled, data restrictions, or apps as default choices for actions. If some of your apps aren't working quite right, and you remember disabling some things before, but you can't remember where, this might help as well. Finally, we have the Scorched Earth option for Android, the factory reset. This eliminates everything within the phone, and when it finishes, the software will be like when you first bought it. If you're really ready to proceed, tap Erase All Data Factory Reset, and you will see a screen explaining the consequences of this procedure. Tap Erase All Data at the bottom right, and you may get a security prompt for your password or PIN. Enter that, and you'll get a further screen explaining the consequences of this procedure. Now, if you're really, really ready, tap Erase All Data again at the bottom right, and the process will begin. I'll switch to an external recording here since it's impossible to do a screen capture of an actual factory reset. Now, after what looks like an extended boot up sequence, you'll see the familiar blue toned hi there setup wizard that appears on a phone's first boot up. And that's it. You're back to square one and hopefully all of your problems are solved. As always, feel free to leave any comments below. Any questions I didn't answer here, any suggestions or any requests for new tutorials, it's all welcome. See you next Tuesday.